Hi everyone and welcome back to our next video. In the last video we looked at how you can draw one point or a pixel. In this video we're going to take a look at how you can draw lines and from that you are going to have your first assignment. So let's take a look at first of all our program here. Notice that we have create canvas and we've chosen a size of 600 by 400 at 600 pixels wide and 400 pixels in height. The function draw down here has set the background gray to 200. We'll keep it like that. And what we're going to do is figure out how we can draw some lines using processing. Before we do that, let's take a look at an image here. What I've done here is I've broken up the canvas into eight equal parts and when you do that it's important to know some different points on the canvas so as you may recall from before this point here is zero comma zero if we go all the way across that's 600 pixels so this point right here is 600 comma zero if i start from here and go all the way to the bottom my x value is still zero because I haven't gone to the right. I've gone straight down to the bottom. So that coordinate right at the bottom is zero comma 400. If I go all the way to the end here, well, that coordinate is 600 comma 400. I've gone over to the right 600 pixels and I've gone down 400. That's going to take me right here. If I divide it, then you can see all the points that I have in between. For instance, if I took a, take a look at this center point here, if I start at the origin, that means I've gone halfway. Halfway is 300 pixels. Then if I go halfway down, half of 400 is 200. So I go over 300 is halfway, and down 200 takes me to this point right here. What I'm going to start by doing is drawing some lines and I'm going to draw a vertical line say along this line here so notice here that all of the points along this line have an x value of 150 so remembering that let's go take a look so what we're going to do is we are going to learn how to use the line command the line command allows us to draw lines and it's in the form from one point to another. The first point is x1 comma y1 and I am going to pick the point 150 comma 100. From any two points I can draw one single line so we need to tell the program what are the two points at the end of the line. The first point is 150 comma 100. Then if I go down from there the x value is still the same. What changes is the y value. I can go all the way down to 400. I'm going to say I'm going to go down to 350. Now I'm going to have a closing bracket, and then I am going to put a semicolon like so. And then I'm going to run the program and see if I have a vertical line. So sure enough, we have this point here. This point right here is 150 comma 100. This point down here is 150 comma 350. So there I've drawn a vertical line and I could go and do another line that's say horizontal. So if I go down here and say I want another line, let's go from say 50 comma 100 to the point 150 comma 100. So let's take a look at that. So I'm going to draw a line from coordinates 50 comma 100. That's the first point to the point 150 comma 100. And if I run that, there, you can see that I've drawn from this point, which is 50 comma 100, to this point right here, which is 150 comma 100. I've managed to join those two lines because there's a common point. There's a common point right here between that point 
and that point, those are the same point. So we end up drawing intersecting lines just because of the points that we've chosen for this. So that leads us to our first assignment. What your assignment is, is you are going to draw your initials. My initials are TM. So I should finish the top of this T here and I'll have the base of the T and then over in this side I'll have an M. So I'll draw an M like so. I can do diagonal lines and I'm going to have to connect those together. So that is your task for this assignment. The goal is to help you learn how to draw lines, learn where the points are on the canvas and make sure you can connect them together. That tells me that you know where the points are on the canvas. So that's your first assignment. You are going to do your initials, one initial here, one initial here. Try to have it centered as much as possible so you're not squeezing both initials on this side. We want one to fit here. We want one to fit nicely here. I want you to adjust to get that just right. So that's it for this tutorial video. When you're done, you are going to screen capture. Make sure I can see your name here. You're going to save it as a JPEG and hand it in to the LMS. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.